Hi, and welcome to a brand new video. Today we will be tackling the problem on the screen where you have a binary matrix M times N, and we need to return the distance to the nearest zero. So for example, here, if we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, as you can see here, we only have one one, and that is right next to it zero. So that's why we just return the same thing. But for uh, for something like this, where one is actually smushed between two ones, then the distance would be two away from a zero. And this is assuming that diagonals don't work. So there are actually many solutions to this. We first have obviously the um, brute force, but that would be really time consuming. We have the breadth. Um, breadth search or you can do deep search um, and that's kind of like a graph search but the uh, method that I'm going to be using today is dynamic programming and we've talked about this before on the channel on this video but um, for those who are not familiar it's basically a more efficient way of recursion so let's actually test it out what we're going to do is we're first going to and I'm just going to write the array up and down just because it, um, it's easier to explain. So what we're going to do is that we're going to um, a, a set, a, we're going to create this array going from top to bottom. So we'll find the distance from top to bottom and then we'll do the opposite from bottom to top. So that means we can get the shortest distance this way or we can get the shortest distance this way. So first all I'm going to do is I'm going to say that if mat dot length is equal to zero just return mat because that means there is none and then no, we need to say that uh, we're, we need to create the thing that we're going to return so I'm just going to create distance new int int um, and this can be mat dot length mat of zero dot length and here's the thing, we're going to be using these a lot, so I'm just actually going to create a variable. Normally, if we use it like once, I don't create these variables, but because we use it a lot of times in the code, I think it'll just be more efficient to write R and C. And now that we've created this, we need to just iterate through this array and just set a do arrays.fill x to for x to let's say r times c plus one. So what we're doing here is that we're taking our um, array here and we are just filling it with a really big value. Um, and the reason this is important is because we're just gonna be taking the math.min of going this way versus going this way versus the value that's already there. So if all the values are zero, it's obviously just gonna return zero, which is not the answer. So that's why I'm just filling it so that um, it doesn't confuse it with the original value to what we set it as. Now we can iterate through. So this will just be left to right. I should say top left to bottom right. And this is just like the normal for loop you probably use every day. Int i equals zero, i is less than r, i plus plus, or int j is equal to zero, j is less than c, j plus plus. And we need to say that if the current um the current thing we're looking at, mat of i of j is equal to zero, just the distance of i of j to zero, else we have we're gonna set if i greater than zero we're going to set distance of i of j to math.min of the current value there to distance of i minus one of j plus one so what this will do is that it will take um the value to the left of it and plus one and see whether the current value is less than that value and then we just want to do the same thing with the columns. So actually, I'll just like copy this, paste this here, and change this negative one to the J column here. The next thing I uh, would like to do is just go the other way. So I'll just copy this. And this time, um, shift tab for it uh, to make it go backwards in tabs. I'm going to do bottom right to top left. 
and we need to change this so that b arm r minus one i is greater than or equal to zero and i minus minus and you can do the same thing here c minus one j is greater than or equal to zero j minus minus and what we're doing here is um now the what uh so over here we um set um the distance inside this array to be um the distance of the one to the left the distance of the one above it the min of um all three of those so um now all we need to do is just basically do the same thing but in reverse we don't need this because we only already did it in the first one um and it so I'm just going to remove that just because it'll just take extra time that we don't need. Perfect. I shift tab backwards. And I'm going to, instead of doing i greater than zero, we do i less than r minus one. We do j less than c minus one. And here we're just gonna change these to plus signs. So we'll see, um, it will be checking on the ones in front of it and the ones below it. So basically this just takes, uh, this whole entire program will take one cell and set it to the minimum of its current value, the one to the left, the one to the right, the one to the top and one to the bottom. And that will just find the shortest distance from zeros. If we set zeros to zero, and all the other ones to this really big value. So that's our program. All we need to do left is the return statement. So we return distance. So let's just save our program. And you can see in this notepad over here, I just put in our second example. So let's actually test this out. So you can, so let's see whether this is the answer. So we have 000. zero, zero 010121. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, as you can see here, it was just really simple um, uh, just doing dynamic programming. It's a concept we talked about before, and this wasn't really um, that, uh, that um, hard to understand. But if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Bye.